Yeah, I take a different view. I'm all in favor of freedom of speech, but I am not in favor of labeling Israel an apartheid state. Mm. I have spent a lot of time in Hebron, in Nablus, in Ramallah. I'll put what I've done working in Palestine up against most people. I have really dug in, into those communities and I have deep relationships there. I think there are 196 countries on planet Earth. 196. Why don't we target Saudi Arabia and boycott their oil? Why are we segregating Israel on this? Uh, there are a lot of evil doers in the world. I can name a lot more, a lot that are a lot worse than Israel. A lot that are a lot worse than Israel. So I think at the roots of uh, a lot of the BSD movement is an attempt to try to save Israel and South Africa. I disagree with that. And what I would try to do is, I would again, try to, try to make Maryland uh, a model of diversity uh, that hopefully can, can inspire people around the world. What we shouldn't be doing is saying that is an apartheid state and segregating one of the only, I think, two democracies in the Middle East. There are 22 other countries in the Middle East that are monarchies, that have, that have uh, laws against women and against racial and ethnic minorities that are as malignant or more malignant than those against uh, the Palestinians in Israel. So let's, let's be equal opportunity. Let's, if you're going to have this view, why not just put sanctions against all 24 countries in the Middle East if that's what you're going to do? What I'm just asking for here is a little bit of intellectual honesty. If you're going to apply a standard to Israel, apply it to every country. And then let's, let's look at all 196 countries on planet Earth and determine how many of those 196 we aren't going to do business with, not just Israel. Thank you.